One of the first places that I like to look for open access journals is a website that's called Digital Commons Network. So um, I just go to Google and I search for that. This one might be worth writing down just to take a note on so that you can come back to it after. Digital Commons Network, as you can see, is free full text scholarly articles. They are open access academic research from top universities. So let's click into there and I'm going to do a couple of sample searches so you can see how this works. Unfortunately, with these open access websites, usually they don't have as good of search options as PsycInfo, you know, which has like all the different boxes and all the different drop down fields that you can use. So usually you're just searching a single line similar to Google. However, just like in a database, you can't type your entire sentence, you have to do just keywords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my search for violent video games. And in this case, I am just going to do those three words and see what comes up. When you get your search results back, um, what you can see is that you have some different options. First of all, if you scroll down on the side, there are still filters similarly to how there were in PsycInfo. So if you wanted to, you can go to publication type and you can click on journal. And what that does is it will narrow it down to just academic journal articles for you. So that one's really good to know about. And then something that you'll also want to think about here is that for some reason this website is putting your results in order of when they were published. So the most recent ones are first and then it goes back and back and back. And what's sort of problematic about this is that it's not bringing the most relevant ones to the top like PsycInfo did. Instead you kind of have to look at them chronologically. And a lot of these don't look super relevant. Um, so before I pick one I actually want to change my search a little bit and I want to see if I can get my search more relevant first to limit the number of things I kind of have to like scroll through. So first of all, this digital commons network does allow you, it does allow you to do um, truncation. So that's using the star for a wild card. So if you do violin star, you're going to get violent or violence. And then it also allows you to do phrase searching. So instead of doing video and games as separate words, it allows you to do them together with the quotation marks. So this search right here includes truncation on violent, and then it in includes a phrase search for video games. And it's assuming uh, the word and in between. So it's saying we need to find violent and we need to find video games. So you can type it or you can just leave it out because it assumes that it's there. So I'll do that search again, and once again I'll go down to the side and I'm going to click on Journal so that um, we narrow it down to peer-reviewed journal articles. And I'm just going to go through this list. Um, you'll discover that they don't, some of them don't look super relevant, but again that's because it's searching the entire PDF, not just the title or the abstract, and you have no option to do that in this open access database it's ordering them by, by when they were published, like I said before. So let's see if we can find any that look good. Okay, well here's one. This one talks about um, uh, the negative effects of media on children by the looking at the example of violent video game regulation. So that one could be useful. So I'm going to click on it and um, ideally, it would have an abstract because, you know, as we know, we love abstracts, but it doesn't. So instead, what we need to do is actually open the paper itself, and there should be a button that says download. And here's the PDF. It was freely available online. We just had to search the Digital Commons Network to find it. And if we scroll down, let's see, does it have an abstract? It does. So it has an abstract. We just had to go to the PDF to find it. So using this website, the Digital Commons Network, is one way that you can find open access um, journal articles online for free. So that's the first one to keep in mind.